everyone. Welcome to another art making activity presented by the Cantor Art Center and the Anderson Collection at Stanford University. Today, we're going to be making a painting using bubbles inspired by the artist Sam Francis. Now, who's ready to get started? For today's activity, we're going to need paper, masking tape, a straw, paint, soap and water, and measuring cups. Be sure to ask a grown-up for help when using paint. While you gather your supplies, let's visit the Anderson Collection, where we can find Sam Francis's paintings, which we'll use for today's inspiration. Sam Francis was born just up the road from Stanford University in San Mateo, California in 1923. Abstract expressionist painters did not paint things we see in our everyday lives. They conveyed emotions through line, shape, and color. In this piece, the artist uses intense bright colors, showing his style that he uses in many of his other paintings. This piece almost looks like what cells look like in a human body. It can also resemble a landscape with a yellow sun, red clouds, and black ground. What do you think it resembles? In this other piece, we can see the techniques that we'll be using today for our artwork. All right, now that we've got a little inspiration, let's get started with our activity. Start by using masking tape or painter's tape to make a design on a sheet of paper. Use scissors to cut precise pieces or tear the tape with your hands to get some rough edges. Next, mix soap, water, and a little bit of paint in a cup to make a solution for bubble art making. Put the straw into the cup and blow into the solution to make bubbles. Keep blowing until the bubbles reach the top of the cup. Now, scrape the bubbles off the top of the cup and onto the paper, where the bubbles in the solution will pop this will create an interesting texture. Using your straw, spread the bubbles around on the paper. When the paper dries, you can add more colors with more bubbles or remove the tape and add additional color with paint or pens. We're taking colored glue here and adding some extra detail. And there we have it! Check out our painting! Do you like what we created today? Be sure to let us know with a thumbs up! All right, everyone, we'll be back with more art activities, but in the meantime, you can always come visit us in person at the Cantor Art Center and the Anderson Collection located on the campus of Stanford University. See you all next time.